Uh, here we've got images I've I've put together with the the text. And like I said, there's very little repetition. I pomeni mera i tan palikiri aki i cambia e fage an aureo prasino filo ke metal po avto enyo se poli kalitera. One thing to pick up about the language here is the past tense, en yo se, uh, he or it felt, se on the end of the verb, en yo se, um, simple past, uh, efage, so the e form for for the, the third person singular, is that right? Yeah, he felt, he ate. Uh, and, and it comes up again later, so it's worth picking that up, you know. Uh, put it in your mind that these past tense forms are going to be with et on the end. The other thing we've got is lots of sort of um, modifiers and uh, sort of function words, uh, which are quite difficult to remember. There's one poli, poli which is very like. Efheristopoli, uh, thank you very much, and Pali again, which comes up in this story. So we've got we've got a lot of a lot of information to remember, and I'm just trying to memorize it all. So the next day, the uh, it was Sunday. The next morning was Sunday again, Pali, and the caterpillar ate a fresh green leaf. Uh, and felt, and after that felt better, because he had stomachache, didn't he? He had ike uh, stomachopono. He had stomachache that evening after Saturday. All that snacks. Echtise. Okay, so part two. After the after the the fresh green leaf. Put a nice one in there. Nice one in there to indicate it. Two. Uh, it's obviously not a little caterpillar anymore. Tora then pinuse pia. Then he wasn't hungry anymore. Pia anymore. Then negative form. Pinuse. There's another past tense ending. Pinuse. Uh, 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 poli pinasmeni. Pinasmeni cambia. Pinuse. So felt uh, hungry. And here we've got a verb which is be hungry. So he wasn't hungry anymore. Then pinuse pia. Ke den itan. Then he wasn't any longer. Then it. Then itan pia mia mikri cambia. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. Tora then pinuse pia. Ke den itan pia mia mikri cambia. Itan mia megali hon tri cambia. He was a big fat cap caterpillar. Itan mia megali hontri cambia. Echtise en a micro spiti girutu. He made, there's another verb with the se ending for he made, he made a small house around him. Girutu, around him. Pu to elegant cocoli, otherwise known as a cocoon. Otherwise known as a cocoon. Ke, ke emine, ke emine, another past tense verb. He spent emine mesam ya perisotres apodio hebdomades. He spent more than two weeks in where, and he spent more than two weeks inside. He spent more than two weeks inside. Echtise en amikros piti girutu, puto elegant cuculi, ke emine mesa ya perisotres apodio hebdomades. Epite tripuse mia tripa sto cuculi. Es proxe exo que. So, uh, 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 then tripuse, there's the past form again. Tripuse mia tripa. He poked a hole. So, we've got the same root in this word. Tripa, tripuse. He hold a hole, I guess, logically. Epita. Tripuse mia tripa sto cuculi in the cocoon. Es proxe exo ke he came out. He came out. Yeah, he exited out. And itan mia omorfi petaluda. Itan mia 
omorfi petaluda. Itan mia omorfi petaluda. So they are all in order. We put my numbers in there just to finish that little job. Uh, and I've been listening to this for weeks now. And this bit is the most difficult bit of the story because there isn't any repetition. And I've been using on my smartphone this application, All Language Translator. And I paid for the advert free version because it's um, I find it so useful although it gets lots of criticism because of the adverts and it's very sensitive audio pickup the microphone doesn't always pick up what you're trying to say but I found that that's quite useful to practice your vocabulary repetition and pronunciation because once you get it right it picks it up right and you can play it back in Greek, you can switch the languages round and get a kind of computerized native speaker Greek voice to practice your pronunciation. And I found that's quite useful to, to keep repeating phrases till you get the pronunciation right. Epitatriposemia tripa sto kukuli. Then he poked a hole in the cocoon. I got that wrong so many times before I got it right. 